I'm gonna say it isn't going terribly well. Oh, that, that was historic. Ah, it's dark. Don't like the dark. Uh-uh. Don't wanna work anymore. Hey, what's up everybody? Start of a new week, start of a new video. What have we got coming up? Tons of exciting things this week, of course we have. Now we're getting on with Project X, which we can't really reveal too many details about, but you never know, we might pop a few teasers in here or there. Who knows, let's see how that goes. Uh, plus we've got work to do inside the pod because we're upgrading for the live streams, etc., etc. There'll be more great art, more lots of wonderful things that we're attempting that no one's ever done before. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Well, pitch black, first time I've picked up a camera. We've just been, well, three quarters of the day was spent just doing some adjustments for the live stream, of which we just did a little uh, impromptu pop-up for, what was that, minutes-wise? 17 minutes. 17, 18 minutes, something like that. Yeah. But it's, it's for those 17, 18 minutes to get cameras set and to do some exposure values and some colorations and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. That was three quarters of the day on the computer trying to make sure that we sorted that. So that's pretty much why you haven't seen much of today. But it's now pitch black, it's going cold and that's it, we're gonna wrap up. But what we have successfully done is made the live stream hopefully a lot better for the data, the amount of data, we've, we've, we're just discussing it. We think we've probably removed about 85 to 90% of the amount of data that we were doing by adjusting a few settings and this, that and the other. We've hopefully made some of the cameras look just that little bit better, a little bit more even between them. Well, that's it, isn't it? I mean, <clears throat> historically, if you've seen the live streams, we use three cameras that are basically the same camera and then one which is a different one. And it's, it's trying to get that different one to match all the rest. Well, finally, I think, yeah, it's, we? we've been able to get yeah. everything matched together. So when you see all four cameras on the big four, um, you know, all camera setup, then you don't know which one's which now, which is brilliant because now all the blues and oranges and reds, they all look the same. But yeah. calibrating it just takes forever. Yeah, you know, we're, we're talking about working into the Calvin range to, to match our overhead lighting. We have to switch off our fluorescent tubes that are here because of course they flicker. Now I'm not sure, they don't flicker under this one, but under the camera, our little Rome cam, it flickers. And so we have to switch them off and just use the ones, but they're cool white and the Kelvin range has to be set pretty exacting to match everything. And all the exposure values on the cameras are trying to adjust themselves constantly. And it's, it's a bit of a game, but we've got it, we've done it. So we'll call that a success. We'll call that uh, a win for today. Right, what's up everybody? Uh, next day, as far as HQ, a bit of an odd day yesterday. Oh, there we are, back in the viewfinder. Yeah, I just spent a lot of time working on camera stuff. Anyway, it's a new day. Uh, a few emails to write, other bits and pieces like that. The sun is actually in the sky, which is really nice for a change. It was uh, quite grey yesterday and a little bit rainy, but the weather does look a little bit better today, so we're going to crack on. AD is busy. Should we go find him? Let's go find him. Busy. We're still investigating camera stuff because we're always trying to get the live streams better. So uh, part of what we're doing today has taken off on a little bit of a tangent. He is actually on the phone. I've caught him on the phone. Let's go back somewhere else then. I think he's trying to make some investigative phone calls about uh, cameras and uh, how to stream in 4K and all this kind of stuff. So what you think is really easy when you're kind of sat in front of a computer monitor or watching this on your mobile device, actually there is a big logistical process that lies behind all this kind of stuff. And I guess it's the reason why a lot of people don't do high definition broadcast with multiple cameras, with pan, tilt and zoom like we do on live streams. But like everything else that we try and do, we're always trying to make things better. We're always trying to improve and we're always trying to go that one step further. And of course, we're always trying to do it without spending enormous amounts of money that TV studios do, because we can't do that. There's always this undercurrent of things that are bubbling away in the background, which require time and energy and focus. And I guess, well, that's part of the principles that makes us us because that's an underlying principle of how we conduct ourselves really so we like to get stuck in and get things sorted <laughs> so it's very much a sorting day but we're going to give you nice lots of things to look at today well i hope so anyway i like that which is a brand new painting called chronology we could just walk around the gallery for a bit couldn't we i actually really like that i don't get to spend this sounds crazy but a huge amount of time in here i'm either through rushing around or doing something else but it is just nice to stop now and again and Maybe, maybe should have a coffee. Should I have a coffee and just sit down and then just kind of stare and look around for a while? Actually, I might do that. That could be quite nice, couldn't it? Well, 
Well, has been an interesting day. <laughs> Another one, let's go back into the darkness. So today, what can I tell you? Well, I've base coated two canvases. That's ready for tomorrow's live stream. And that should be a pretty exciting one. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm just doing a double check out here in the darkness, make sure everything's switched off. I don't actually think we came out here and switched anything on today. We've had another one of those days where we've had to sort things out with the live stream and cameras and all that kind of thing. So it has really been a bit of a head scratching day and sometimes that's the way it goes. In fact, the last two days have been a little bit like that. And as I can hear someone emerging from the paint pod, this man here has had his head knee deep in cameras, haven't you, for two yes. days? So has it been frustrating? 17 minutes. Yes. What that been before on a live stream? 17 minutes of live stream, 15 to 18 gig probably. What are we at now? 317 meg. Wow. So that's about a 90% saving then? Something like that? Yeah, just by understanding what wow. we do with the cameras. That's incredible. So there you go. We've had it now because we've had some storage issues and some buffering and some streaming issues. We did a couple of canvases earlier, which I base coated. And whereas that would normally be data of about, I don't know, we're reckoning on about 15, 16 gig. Uh, it's 370 meg, so under a gigabyte, which is amazing. So we're going to save a ton of space, but also more importantly, we're not going to overstress the bandwidth that we've got for streaming, which should mean a healthier stream and that we don't get the problems that we had last week, which is when the stream just said, uh, uh don't want to work anymore. So even though it's been a bit of a struggle today with one thing and another, that is a big result because it just means the live streams, we don't have to worry about them now. So we've done all the maintenance, figured a load of stuff out. I'll call that a win for today. If you're new here and like what we do, then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Right, so we've got 20 minutes to go before live stream. I haven't done a lot of videoing because we've had our heads pretty much banging together for most of the afternoon trying to figure out a load of stuff on the live stream software and on the audio and on the cameras, which we're making some progress. And for the first time ever, we are going to be streaming to Facebook. But now the pressure's on as well for me because I've got to set up Instagram feed, which is that there. Thankfully, I pre-base coated two canvases yesterday, so they're ready for tonight's live stream. So we're gonna do one which is a bit like snow and ice if I've got the time, and then we're gonna do one which is a bit of an experiment, which is gonna be these sort of rainbow rivers. I've got an idea in my head how I wanna make it look. No idea if I can make it work, but I'm gonna have a try anyway. So we're gonna be doing that live in front of the whole world. <laughs> little bit of pressure. I've got a microphone on because we're doing mic testing all afternoon. So now with sort of like T minus 15 minutes, I've got to get changed. My breathing apparatus on and uh, then hopefully we're going to have a successful live stream. Hello, Scott. I don't like the dark. <laughs> I still can't. Oh, there. Just about to see you now. Yeah. Wow, man. Well, that, that was historic. That was the first live stream where we've gone Simultaneous broadcast to YouTube, Instagram, and now Facebook. Pretty good, I reckon. So we spent all day, well, actually the last three days, as you've seen on the blog, with us trying to figure out how to do it, but we've done it without issue. And we've gone successfully from start to finish and had lots of viewers and it's people have responded to it brilliantly. So now that, we can add that now as a third place we can stream every time we do this on a Wednesday, which is amazing. So it's a massive win and that man's been a legend. Not the easiest, but we've done it few YouTube tutorial videos, a bit of trial and error, and we got there. Which is what it's all about though. You just If you don't try, you, you don't know, do you? No. And that's, that's, that's what it always comes down to. You've got to try these things. Absolutely. Good right. or bad, whether you want to or not, you've got to try. If you don't try, you don't know. Oh, hi everybody. Wow, do you ever get one of those days? I mean, do you really get one of those days? We're having one of those days. We've uh, we had a meeting uh, with a guy this morning just about some businessy based things, which has been utterly fantastic and brilliant and a new fan of what we're doing here, which is amazing. Now though, with the rain pouring down outside and it's 20 past one, I'm actually gonna start the day uh, on a Friday. It's crazy how sometimes your time can, well, it's not really your own, is it? You just get drawn into other things. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next, so behind me you can see beautiful gold painting. I've got to get that photographed and videoed next. I've got a ton of paperwork to do. And as we walk past all these nice things to look at, of course, it's great being in here every day. Of course it is, look, because you get to see this every day. And as you will know from the ongoing saga of the cameras, we uh, are currently having uh, quite a conversation with Logitech. AD as ever is trying his best to try and figure out some stuff we need to send their technical support people. And judging by the look on his furrowed brow, I'm gonna say, it isn't going terribly well. Would that be an accurate well, assumption, mate? I have allowed access to cameras and that's what we've got. Okay, 
So I've done everything that, uh, you know, I go to the internet to check to make sure I'm doing exactly what I've done. I've also been to AVG to make sure that AVG is not denying access yeah. to these cameras. There isn't any setting there. Everything's turned wow. on and that is what we've got. A black so. screen. Okay, well, that's going well. Okay, folks, well, not much more I can say to that. Thanks, tech, and thanks, Logitech. tech. Oh, well, the saga will continue. It's towards the end of the day for me now. Ed's already gone. Went a little bit earlier, got things to do. It's starting to go dark. I've been back and forth in with uh, Logitech for our cameras for the live stream. Sent them a little video about uh, the problems we're having with it. Just making sure that the lights are off in the pod, which they are. Going to go out everything else locked up. And for once, going to go home before it goes dark. It's getting there. Well, I say that. I might get home before it's dark. I don't know. Yeah, that's the day done. Lots and lots of technical stuff this week. As you've uh, seen in the vlog, we're trying to simultaneously broadcast to as many streaming platforms as we can. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. And it just takes a lot of head scratching, which I've been doing today. Oh yeah, that's that's the one from this, la this past Wednesday's live stream. I had to be photographing that for the Patreons. Obviously, they get first look. But uh, that's it. Now I'm going to shut everything down. Of course, I'm still working on secret project. I'm going to walk backwards and it's uh, behind us. Ooh, looking good. Some doors closed. Temperature's not too bad today. It's still cold enough to have to wear a coat. <laughs>